the Cubs. Simply put, that's 11-year-old Chase Peruski's favorite team. There's some newspapers of some of the Cubs players. 60 miles from his home in Waukegan, Illinois, the decorations help. Cubs flags. It's been a long two months. Back in September, Chase wasn't feeling well. He was diagnosed with a rare condition and transferred to Children's. Aplastic anemia, which he does have, um, and that he would need a bone marrow transplant. His father, Mike, says two of Chase's three siblings were matches. Doctors chose Ty, seen in the neon hoodie. Got some of his bone marrow taken out, and then I got it, got it in me. The transplant went well. By Game 7 of the World Series, Chase hoping for another celebration. Chris Bryant threw it, and I and Rizzo caught it. I just got really happy. His dad capturing the moment right now, drawing extra inspiration from the Cubs' star first baseman. I have a signed All-Star game ball from Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo, a cancer survivor, wrote Chase a letter. He just said that he hopes I feel better, and that um. It hasn't been easy. <laughs> As you can see, he was very touched by it and us. It gave him, gave him strength to fight and know that he's got a battle, but it's possible to survive it. The hashtag Chase Strong is everywhere, and he's built quite a bond with Dr. David Margolis. Um, how are you feeling? Good. Thumbs up? Yeah. Good. Margolis lost a bet to Chase and made good on it Thursday. Go Cubs, go! Go Cubs, go! I knew that he was going to have to do it because I knew the Cubs were going to win. The prognosis for Chase is good. The hope is he'll continue to get better and be able to go home in the next month. Outside Children's Hospital, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.